Hello, everyone. Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence, thanking you and praising you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for our life and our health. Thank you for your constant companionship. Thank you for your guidance and direction. Father, allow us to imitate your son, Jesus Christ. Allow us, Father God, to be sensitive to the calling of your Holy Spirit, to work towards living a life of holiness. Father, we bless your holy name because you never leave us alone. You're always there with us. You always are supporting us and encouraging us. Father, you correct us where we need correction. Father, we bless your holy name. We praise you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Let's Be Imitators of Christ. It was written by Eliudel Gonzalez and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. It is brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. It is taken from the book Messe de Fe, page 212. Our biblical base comes from Philippians 2, 5 through 8. So says the word of God. Let this be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death on the cross. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. To serve others and obey God's commandments, it is necessary to love as Christ loved us by giving himself on the cross, a sacrificial love that gives everything for the good of others. The Holy Spirit, through the Apostle Paul, commands us, let his mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God did not consider it. And robbery to be equal with God. However, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being made in the likeness of man, and being found in the condition as a man, he humbled himself, becoming obedient unto death, even death on a cross. The command in this passage is to imitate the feeling of Christ, which includes not only the compassionate and loving feeling, but also the way of thinking and behaving, we are called to strip ourselves of our comforts, to take the place of servants, to humble ourselves to help the helpless, hungry, and needy. When we think of all that Christ left because of his love for us, no personal sacrifice for our neighbor will be enough. We must give ourselves completely. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are being encouraged. We're, it's a commandment, actually, to be imitators of Christ. Christ came from glory to die a horrible death on the cross so that you and I can have forgiveness of sin. He sacrificed it all. He gave it all for you and for me. My brothers and sisters, we've been commanded to help our neighbors, to love our neighbors, but we must do so with compassion and love in our hearts. We must do so thinking and behaving as Christ did to strip ourselves of all pride, to humble ourselves and become servants. My brothers and sisters, let's be imitators of Christ. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.